If you are taking CS50, I'm going to show you the most important tool that CS50 offers. It's something I use all the time. It helps me to get unstuck. It's helped me get through the P sets and it really is a game changer for learning how to code. Let's get right into the video. Hey, so I was just trying to work on this CS50 assignment. There's this link here on CS50.ai. I'm just at the moment trying to work on connecting this application, which is built on Django, to the front end using React. I got to this page after logging in with my GitHub account. Um, but once you have that, you can use this freely for anything that you could imagine for coding and specifically for any of the CS50 courses. And it's a way to get unstuck. And this is something that I did not have when I took CS50. It's something that was implemented recently. Uh, but I think it's, uh, I mean, it's really the answer for if you're feeling stuck and you feel like you can't get through the assignment, you don't even know where to start even, just plug in a question here. So the first thing I wanna do here is just to ask a question. Uh, all I wanna say is how can I connect Django in the back end? with React in the front end in the most effective way. Now we see it's thinking here and it started to give an answer. It's giving us already some instructions. So I have to set up Django and create the models, which I already did that. I have them over here and I have to create the endpoints using the Django REST framework view sets. So I have to figure out how to use that. Um, and so it's not giving me the answer specifically. Like it's not something I could copy and paste, but it's giving me a direction of where I need to go, which is good because I don't want the answer, believe it or not. I want to learn how to do this on my own so that I could really remember it, so I could really absorb it. How can I install Django REST framework and serialize the models? Uh, so here it's giving me even some code. And if you look at that, it's giving me almost like a template that I can use. So again, it's just chiseling the problem out for me a little bit that now I can make it more manageable. And this is a general principle in CS50. When you're stuck, just go to the AI. They're already giving it to you. It works great. It's not gonna give you the answer. So you're gonna be able to learn. It's basically like having your own tutor from CS50. Let me show you another example of how this could be very useful. For example, for your very first homework from CS50, which is what I think most of you watching this video are going to find this very useful. And once you learn how to use it on the first homework, you're gonna be using it on every single homework. So let's go into week one for C. So let's go into Mario here, right? You wanna have first the prompt to ask the user for uh, how many rows the pyramid should have. And once you, you know, when you hit enter, it should print it out like that. So this could be, it's going to seem very daunting at first, but what I would suggest is, first of all, to watch the lecture twice. And then afterwards, you should go in here and open the hints and, and just try it out. Let's break down this problem. So what basically is going on here? If you know, uh, the program is printing line by line from left to right. So what it's really doing is it's printing from left to right, um, seven, spaces and one pound and then six spaces two pounds five spaces three pounds etc all the way till it comes to the end so what's happening here is that you basically have you have uh, two loops you have a loop going in the horizontal and once the first iteration of that goes then it goes to the second one and so going down to the second one would be the first iteration of the vertical loop anyhow how do you do this go into cs50 ask a question how do i write and this is a perfect example because i actually don't remember how to write this how do i write to a loop loop inside another in c you see that so it's giving you a loop within a, a loop okay so here's all the syntax which i don't remember 100 percent but um and i'm not going to run this program but let me just copy this for now i'm not running because i don't have the compiler i don't have this computer set up for any of this stuff um Anyhow, so, right, so for int i equals zero, as long as i is less than the user input, so the user input, i plus plus, so this will be the um, vertical rows, and 
here we're going to have user j um, uh, let me see here it's, it's something along the lines of j minus user input j minus user input and you might even need this to be in brackets or sorry in parentheses now i don't remember if this is actually how you print in, in c we to look it up how to print in c yeah but i i think that we have to write it like this but take out the n yeah we take this out i believe this is how you prevent it from printing uh, on new line so it'll print all of it straight if not just figure out how exactly you need to there's maybe some code missing here to keep keep it printing on one line but the general idea i'm sure you're getting it uh, sorry it's not going to print that it's going to print space and then after that i think we need a second loop even over here you'll see here that you know i got unstuck i was stuck i more or less deduce what i need to do and i'm just throughout using cs50.ai to just finish the homework